Hello everyone, good afternoon. I'm Prof. Rafael Moratay. I'm Junior Organizer with the SEIU Local 26. We represent around uh, 5,200 workers in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Uh, we, represent, uh, we represent security guards, janitors, and window cleaners. Pretty much that 80% of our membership are immigrants and 70% are Latinos. So, based on this, we, we I'm going to start to talk about how we deal with the with the raid back in uh, end of May 2009. Um, first is that we you know we never heard about the I9 raid before. Never we don't have any experience and any any organization, the union, nonprofit have this kind of experience. So we just start from zero, from scratch. So <clears throat> we're going to start with that. So in, in, in the beginning of June of 2009, right, we got the, the news from, from the company that something was happened with ICE, you know, Homeland Security. That means that um, they are under the process with the INA audit, and they became to investigate the ABM janitorial office back in December 2007. So ICE went to the office, took the document, boxes, take it away, and then you know, a year and a half later, say, hey, we, we have 1,256 janitors that you need to fire in one week. So, you know, um, it wasn't new for us, and like I said, we never had experience, so we, we call our a lawyer and we start to investigate what we can do in research, blah, 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 and then <clears throat> we find out that this one was the Obama new enforcement policy regarding the I-9. Like Brian explained that, forget that they spend money on helicopter, buses, and, you know, put people in jail, and still they say, hey, you know, bring the document to us, and we want to check with our database. If you don't have documents, you're going to be fired. And you can prove or not, you can have only one week to come back to the company and say, bring, bring your new social security card, green card, or license or ID. So, you know, saying that, that we, we have called from members, right, who member who have been working with, with, with ABM for 12, 14 years, maybe 15 years, you know, with the same job, with no problem at all. But now with the new Obama informant say, hey, you have a problem. We just find out. So, you know, people became with chaos and fear. So we we called for the for the uh, meeting, you know, emergency meeting. So our leader from the union shot the store. So and then they, they asking me that's tr that was true, you know, or was a kind of tricky um, campaign for the company. They just planning to fire people with more seniority, you know, and, and then um, fire people with, and then they can save money and benefit, and we explain, no, this is a real I-9 audit. It was a new, like I say, it was a new informant by Obama. So we had a meeting with the steward, so the next weekend we called for a big meeting. You know, 600 people show up at the meeting. So we explained the situation, people was really, upset with this because our, our members and the whole SEIU, you know, we support Obama 100% when we, when, you know, we got elected. So what, you know, for us, we are, we still are, are really disappointed with the administration in terms of this rate and in another economic policy. So what we did is that the, the, the people vote to keep, you know, low profile on this in the I&I &I and and see you know, how much longer they can keep working with ABM. Because ABM, what they did is that they give one week to uh, uh, like 300 workers, two weeks for another 300, you know, and so in, in a month they can fire, you know, 1,200 people like this. So, so 
the same time, the, the people vote for send the president of the local to Washington DC and see if he, if he can meet with the Homeland Security folks and, you, you know, uh, Janet, uh, Janet Napolitano, the head of ICE. And he did, so what happened was that the, the ICE in Washington DC, you know, they, what happened was that in Washington DC, the folks there, they, do, you know, they didn't even know what happened in, in, in Minnesota, right? <clears throat> so what we talking about, you know, what's really intense days because people that's calling us every day, is, hey, what do what happened with my job? You know, I need to quit by this Friday or next Friday. People was in chaos, nervous, it's a lot of stress from them because you, like I said, you know, you, you have kids in the school, you know, many of those kids you, born in this country. You know, people have houses, pay rent, bills. So, you know, so saying this, that um, finally, you know, in pretty much in one month, we were able to, to deal with Homeland Security and this. And of course that we are the union, you know, we decided to organize our base too. Which is, you know, we decided to have the political front and you see our, our our president fight with the Homeland Security, but you know, in the, in the grassroots movement, you, we decide to organize the janitor and have a big march to, do, to go to the HR office in Minneapolis, right? And demand them, you know, you know, at least more time for for proof the document. Because, for example, if you have your social security kind of wrong, what's going to happen? So, can you go to the social security? office and get your new car in one week? Or you can get your new license in one week, two weeks? Not right. You have to wait at least one month for this. So we asked to the Homeland Security to do the same. You know, we asked to the Homeland Security for three months for the people can prove something, right? But, but in some cases, the people told us, you know, I don't have government, but at least the people can be prepared, you know, for, you know, have, you know, find a solution with if they pay rent, they pay, or they pay mortgage. So, you know, when we were ready to march on the bus, when, you know, we were ready to have, you know, 400 janitors ready to visit um, the ABM office, we have the news that the ICE approved 90 days. They approved to us to the people to be on the job for basically from June of 2009 until October 2009. It was a big victory because it never happened before. So the people at least can have more time and then they say, well, at least we will try and then we can have more money for feed our families and support ourselves. And and I'm saying this, you know, we, we have to create a plan. You know, we have to come up with a plan and see what we're gonna do for them and for themselves. And then we create two, two, two brigades in order to support them. We create a political brigade and a support brigade. The political brigade is that means that the people start to organize and have a, a petition, a car, you know, call the senator, call the congressperson to see what, what we can do because it's gonna hard for uh, for someone to come to the to be a president and say, oh you know we're gonna support immigrants, we're gonna make changes. And then and the, what that was one hand of the of the of the of the brigade. The other hand the support was that you know try to um, find a English English class for the people. We are we create a, a clinic co-op and we and we have a um, discount car program. The discount car program was that the people can go to, to the to the Latino store and get a discount from them between ten and fifty percent. If you chose this car, you can be able to have a discount and then help a, you know, a little bit with this. Um, and then by August, by between August and September, we have a you know, resort first 
we bring you know, a lot of agencies and people who work with mortgage and see if they can help the, the, the members, you know, and see if they can get some support from different organizations. And, you know, we bring a, a lawyer, a, you know, an immigration lawyer from uh, Immigrant Law Center. It's a non-profit base in Minneapolis, St. Paul. So, and then he, he, I mean, his, our goal was to, 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 to discover, you know, how many people can be, can, can, can get that kind of help or kind of have a, kind of visa in order to, you know, legalize their status. And you know what? He found that 20 people, you know, 20 women was, you know, they, if they follow the process, they can get the U visa. So, I say this, that 20 people get the visa, but the, the, the union, you know, we, we, uh, we uh, make agreement with, the, with ABM that if the people will, if the people can help, the, can fix the status in one year, they can come back to the company, and they can keep the benefit. You know, they can be you know, the seniority. People that, they, you know, with 10 years with, with ABM, this is the job, uh, you know, a year later, they can come back with the whole benefit, you know? But, and that was a, was, a, was a victory for us. And then, right now, we have like uh, 15 people, they were able to fix the document, and they are working again with ABM. You know, they don't lose any benefit. So, and then, you know, one another uh, project that the that, that, that people had, like they said, you know, the, the the, 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 the fair the, was the, uh, the cleaning, you know, the cleaning co-op, and then the cleaning co-op, they're still working. You know, they, they are like uh, 40 people who are in the, in the co-op, and they cleaning, you know, a small building, they go around cleaning houses, and they be, they can survive with this kind of hard economy. So, um, so, uh, so, you know, saying this that back in October 09, you know, 12, 1,256 people lose their job. You know, we can say, you know, um, around uh, 400 U.S. citizen kids were affected with this rain. Plus, you know, uh, around uh, you know 300 300 homeowner they are at risk to lose their job. So, for us, for a, a union, was a big uh, loss because. We lost a lot of leader, steward who who helped the union to to have a, a new contract to put you know a, a voice out. So, like I said, you know, after October night, everything was gone. So, 15, 15 months later to this, uh, we have. Uh, well, basically, you know, a year later after this, we're talking about October 2010, we got the news from another janitorial company called Arbor that they are in the same process, the same, the same, you know, desktop ray or silent ray or i audit, however you want to call that I show up one day in their office Say, hey, we need your document, put it in this box, and we're gonna respond to you next week, on the next couple of weeks, what, what is the outcome? So they, they told us, you know, exactly one year after we lost 256 members. Um, 